today we're playing a brand new mobile turn-based chibi tactical RPG called Zold Out. It is very similar to Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Ogre, Shining Force, Fire Emblem. You guys get the idea. Like I said, it's a turn-based tactical RPG. Let's get into some actual battles right now. Yes, let's challenge. We already know our stuff and we will start the battle. So this just came out globally uh, well, it just came out globally like two days ago, I think. It was available on Steam, but it was available in different languages. I'm not sure which language uh, for a couple months. Now it's in English, which helps me out greatly. I know that does, that's not necessarily a uh, deal breaker for everyone, but so far I've been really enjoying it. I also do appreciate that it's on Steam, which number one, cross-platform is great. Number two, kind of makes it seem like it might be less aggressively monetized, but that doesn't necessarily mean... It, there's definitely microtransactions everywhere, don't get me wrong, but I think that it might be less aggressively monetized since it has some good reviews on Steam so far. So basically, like I said, turn-based tactics RPG, we're going to move this... Oh, we can't even... Oh, this is the beginning of the battle. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's our, just our beginning, uh, our beginning layout. So let's see, this is a caster unit. I'm not too fond of this. Well, it depends. Um, if you see on the bottom, can you guys see my crit? Yeah, you guys can see where I, uh, where I tap. So this skill right here, it's a seven cost. We have over here where it says confirm move. Uh, that's actually popping up the alt, which we don't have access to just yet. But this is the, uh, this is the alt where it says confirm move down in the bottom right hand corner. That is the amount where it says 10. That is the amount of stamina that we have for each, uh, each move. So now we have 12. If we were to move over here, that would cost two stamina. So we're not going to, I don't think we're going to necessarily move over here. I kn I'm going to cast this, but I know that as soon as I cast this, it's it's never going to land. It's never going to actually land. So she's going to move and she's going to also use that seven cost skill, which means we take uh, nine stamina away. And then we will end our turn move to the next unit. Fantastic. Like I said, that skills, it's never <laughs> going to matter. Uh, we also have... This is a sword wielding unit, so we have three attacks that we can use here. It's three sword skills. We have our move. If we move over here, it's one. If we move over, oh, I guess it's only one everywhere for this unit. Oh, I guess it's different move costs. I didn't even notice that. So let's just do, let's do an attack over here. We can actually do two attacks. We're not going to have enough stamina for three, but you know what? It has one health left! It has one health left! You know what I should have done? Is I should have just moved between. I have found myself doing this all day. Uh, is I should have just moved in between the two units. So I could attack one and then the other right afterwards. This is noob mistakes, guys. But let's just finish it off. We'll end the turn. I have, uh, I, I bring shame to my entire family by doing that. Let's actually see what do we have. So this is a bow, um, this is a bow unit. So let's just do the attack. She's going to move. She's going to take two uh, to move. That is, I believe, the game gives you this unit um, for pre-registration rewards or something like that. So let's do that. Double attacks on there. I'm not sure what's in the treasure chest. That will be very exciting. Will it be very exciting? Yes, it will be very exciting. Oh, you know what? This is this turns out great for us because we're going to cast our spell right underneath their feet. Um, can we actually do much of Let's just end our turn here. Okay, we only have heals. Uh, those three green books at the bottom are all heals. So we can't really do anything. I mean, we can. We can still heal things, but it really doesn't matter. I suppose we'll just do this move. And then we'll see what happens after that. All right, so enemies start taking turns. We at least, I mean, at, at least the, uh, the magic wound up hitting someone. But I suppose we could play this more strategically. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> you know, you you know, I don't like using my brain. It's it just seems like too much effort. All right, let's do. Let's just wait here. Oh, we actually have our ults now too. That's great. We're gonna burn the treasure chest, which I'm I'm not sure is what we should have been going for. Let's do that. Not really good. Oh, again, why why am I not using the ult? Let's just use the ult. Oh, not enough SP. Well, there we go. That's that's just I'm showing you what you shouldn't be doing in the game. We cannot even hit that. 
story in my life. I just keep doing this <laughs> over and over and over. I'm like, ah, this would have been better if we did it the other way. Although, we can now, I can show you this right here, which is a defensive. Actually, let's uh, let's tap on this so I can read this to you. Reduce damage gain uh, taken by 20% till next turn. Passive gain 5 defense. So we can just do this. This is basically like a defense stance over there. And we'll just end the turn here. Uh, I believe, can we... No. What if we move all the way over here? Then, will we actually be able to hit it? Yes, we will. Those little warning stripes, the the, the caution stripes, are going to, uh, or that that shows where you can't you can't go through those, like with your um, ranged units. So, all right, here we go. So it's just that's uh, good to know. It's not good. To, I, whatever. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, well, it's part of the game, so uh, I would assume that it would be good to know, right? Let's see. Do we have any units that have... I think we're fine. Let's just wait here. I never use it. We have three heals. Well, we could discard. I haven't even been doing the discards, but we could discard um, some of our cards. It's all card-based. I'm sure you guys noticed that already. Let's do this. And then let's do let's do a charge over here. Maybe, you know, we might have been able to do those both. That's fine. Let's try this. We could be playing this so much more efficiently. Like, I see all these mistakes as, as we're doing it. But, you know, I love to make mistakes. That's like my favorite thing in the entire world. It's fun! I'm not saying I'm great at it. I'm just saying it's it's so far it's been a fun game until the autoplay because you know it's going to come out eventually. The uh, the autoplay. Let's do. What is this? Restores HP. Action point plus one. <laughs> That's not what I want. Wait, which uh, I have not used this. Increased strength and intelligence within range by 80. Last for okay. Let's just do this then. Yeah, I find myself not using this unit very much. But you know the auto's coming eventually, which is kind of sad, right? Because the game's the game's kind of fun. Tactics game, kind of fun. Let's do this then. All right. Clean up level one. Yeah, that's not gonna hit anything. Sadly, that's why I just like using the the sword units. But we only have we have uh, one sword unit. We have two. Uh, archers, one that the game gives you. Well, actually, I mean, every technically everything the game gives you. Let's just continue. I'm just gonna he keep uh, doing attacks. So we'll see. We'll see what we get. Man, we have four. He okay. I'm gonna discard these. I'm gonna discard all of these because this is too many heals. I should have done that earlier. Definitely should have done that earlier. Let's do this. I'm just gonna get this done with because we only have this one dude left to attack. And we should be good, right? That's the last wave? Great. We can forge some weapons, and every time we do these battles, we can get... We can get gear to forge our... or, um, resources to forge our weapons. And our weapons... I'll show you guys. Our weapons are not equipable weapons where you just get one weapon and then that's your weapon for the whole match, like you normally see in some of these tactics games. Oh, what is this? Tome of Cleanse. I'm sure he's going to be super... Oh, we needed these brass gears. Um, I'm sure he's going to be super useful in the future, but just for right now, all the enemies are so easy that we don't really need him too much. Because he, he is a support healer. So, let's take a look at some of our characters. Actually, let's take a look at here, the, the team. The team lineup. So, this is our sword unit. Uh, we can see some of these... We can actually change these, but you can only have a certain amount of some uh, some cards in your deck at any given time. So we can try to put this here, but it's not going to work because this weapon can only be equipped on characters four times. So we can only use, we already have four in the deck. We already have four of these in the deck, I believe, as well. So we can't use any of those. But if we forge some more better weapons, then even for the same cost, we're going to be able to do much more damage. That's kind of how it works instead of having a specific weapon on your unit. So we'll go take a look at, this is the, the ranged bow uh, unit. 
Same thing. Same same issue there. But I think some weapons, some of these you have infinite of. We can actually go take a look over here. This is something you have infinite quantities of. Uh, this, I mean, we don't really need this. I, I think I just went crazy crafting things. Let's actually craft some stuff right now. This is the crafting room. Then we also have, this is, I don't know. Oh, the recruit. That's the recruit room. That's where it is. Hey, let's do a ten pole. Let's see what uh, what fun stuff we get. We have 11 summons that we got from, I think, pre-registration or some kind of early game, whatever. I'm not sure how many we're going to get, um, ultimately, but we'll see. This R2? Bell of the Elf Guard came all the way here to chase the princess. So at least the sword unit. You know I'm just going to stick a whole bunch of sword units in there. Regas Crystals. Okay, so that's where we get the Regas Crystals. Um, Regas Crystals actually can be used in... Oh man, where is it? I gotta find it first. There is a shop, right? So we got the Regas Crystal from doing that summon. There is a shop right here. Recruits, where we can recruit whatever... If we're missing something specific and we need this uh, certain unit, then we can recruit there from... Uh, for, we can recruit them from here with the Regas Crystals. Oh, 35. I didn't even scroll all the way down in here. But, of course, I would assume that the better units are the ones that cost 300. So, let's do a 10-pull. Let's see. I'm sure we'll get something exciting out of this 10-pull. And then we'll craft some weapons after that. There's a lot more to it, but so far this is... So far this is fun. You know I'm going to change my mind as soon as we get to the, uh, the autoplay. I'm going to be like, well, the game just plays itself, so I don't really know why we keep playing this. Because it's the same thing I always say all the time for every game. I'm like, well, it's just a mobile game that plays itself. So, now we just get to the point where uh, <laughs> you just throw money at it and uh, and hope to, to get whatever units you're, you're after so you can beat things. Okay, not bad. Weapon shop room to be frequented by the best cook in Ozen Port. Nice. Seeker of food. Okay. So for the mo like we only had five units before, so all these units are new regardless. I'm not sure how many units are Staff Awakening. Okay. So another ranged unit. I'm not sure how many classes there are in this total. Because I just keep seeing the same ones. The caring sister. Oh, I thought we were gonna get some crazier stuff, actually. But, you know, mobile gotcha game. I don't know... I don't know how fast it is to reroll. Let's go take a look at some of the events and some of the missions that we have. Let's see if we get anything exciting. Alright. Let's do some... We got the missions here. Let's see. Do we get goodies? Alright. Let's do some weapon crafts. This is for weapon crafts. I haven't used this Miracle, miracle Forge powder just yet. But let's see it here. Let's see if maybe we can use it right now. So this is our forging queue. I'm sure you're familiar with forging queues in games. Like you can only forge a certain amount of uh, a certain amount of weapons at any given time. But these early on are very quick to forge. So let's do. Let's see what we get from this. Uh, we have level one uh, weapons over here. We have level two weapons over here. Of course, they're going to keep getting better and better the higher your weapon forge is. We only have level three right now for our weapon forge, but eventually we're going to have access to much better stuff. The more we forge, the more XP your weapon forge gets, and then the the more it levels up and the higher, uh, the higher level weapons you have access to over there. So let's see if we have... We do not have access to that. Do we have access? We do have access to this. Chanting for five ticks deals magic damage. Let's see. Restores HP. Restores HP. Removes one of the effects of burning, poison, electrocute, and freeze. I just want things that kill things fast. I want weapons that kill enemies very quickly. So we do have these gears, brass gears for this, but we don't have the iron bars, which I think we can just go to previous, um, a previous level, previous stage, and uh, and actually do that. What else? What do we actually have that we can craft? Let's forge this for no reason. Actually, let's see what the the special forge is. So this is the forge. I'm gonna be doing this a, a bunch throughout the throughout the game. Let's see. What else do we have at our disposal? We can do this one. Let's forge this. Let's use a superior forge. We have how many? Let's do it. 
This is probably extremely inefficient to do it with this one, but I'm just curious. All right. I was curious to see if it was going to be some kind of amazing, uh, amazing piece of piece of gear after that, because I have not even used that just yet. So, oh, hold on. What do we have here? Weekly? Forgot what these keys do. Airship keys. Oh, to, to fly to mysterious areas. I haven't used any of that yet. Anyway, this is sold out. I wonder if it's it was supposed to be sold out, and then they're like, no, there's another game already called Sold Out somewhere that came out years ago. I don't know. But it's called Zold Out. It is available on Steam and on mobile. Uh, it is global release now, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested, go check it out. I will see you as always in the next one.